is me and my younger brother, Keelan. He is 11 years old here in the sixth grade at LCA in the sixth grade academy. His hobbies include basketball, guitar, and being hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, I think the best way to kind of introduce you to Keelan is to tell you a story about him. So, as you all know, when you walk down to the cafeteria for lunch, you pass the elementary kids as they're eating lunch as well. Um, Keelan and I happen to have the same lunch, first lunch, so towards the beginning of the semester, as I was going to sit down, I would look over and check in on him because it was his first time back here at the Rose Campus. Um, for a couple weeks in a row, I noticed Keelan and one other kid were sitting by themselves at a table, and I thought this was pretty strange because Keelan's a very funny kid, and so he tends to have a lot of friends. Um, as this persisted, I became a little concerned, and so one day after school, I decided to ask him why he was only sitting with one person. He proceeded to tell me that their grade had recently got a transfer student who didn't know anyone and had been sitting by himself since the beginning of the year, so he left his old lunch table to sit with the new kid. Once he told me this, I was extremely touched and proud, but not at all surprised. Anyone that knows him could tell you that he does stuff like this all the time. For him, he doesn't even think of it as anything special, thoughtful, or out of the ordinary. It's just his nature. It's kind of what he does. He never expects anything in return and usually won't even accept it if it's offered anyways. You know, I always thought that being an older sibling meant that I would be, that my little brother would be learning a lot from me, but I really think it's the opposite in my case. I can say with full confidence that I've never met anyone more caring or compassionate than Keelan, and I really don't think I ever will. He will do absolutely anything for anyone at any given moment and always goes out of his way to help. He is kind and he is constant. This has been a very difficult year for my family for many reasons, from death to injuries and even a very serious car wreck a few months ago. There was about a two to three month period where my parents and I were just constantly upset and irritable as a result of all that had happened, but Keelan never was. He never changed. He was uplifting and encouraging to the point where I would often get annoyed at his positivity. He was unfazed by our negativity and always responded by doing or saying things in hopes of raising our spirits and is often very successful. Luckily, we have since gotten through this rough patch, and looking back, I am amazed at Keelan's attitude and perspective. He never lets anything steal his joy, and he tries his best to reinstill this joy in others. He cares deeply and unconditionally, even when it is undeserved or unappreciated. Lately, Keelan has been increasingly concerned about me going to college, and often, because I'm going out of state, and often tells me he doesn't know what he's going to do. To be truthful, I think I should be the one concerned about what I'm going to do without him. He is my biggest supporter and inspires me to always do better for myself and to be better for others. He is not only a loving brother, but a true friend, a loyal companion, and a selfless aide. I may be six years older, but he is definitely six years wiser. Anyone who has been around him for even five minutes is better off from it, and I have been lucky enough to live with him for 11 years. So now I miss to love him, and to love him is an honor. Thank you.